Morning guys, welcome back. So joining me today, we've come back down to a local carp fishery. This is the place that was on, on my last video. Just come down for a few hours. Hopefully we've got a chance of catching something. The fish are showing pretty much right across the center of the lake. So we're on the north bank. So it gets a lot of sunshine this, this side of the lake. So hopefully we're gonna get something come up into the margins later on in the day. If not, then we'll just stay on these shoving fish for now and see if we can catch one. So I've just got both rods out. The right hand rod is out into the center channel of the lake and that's in quite deep water, probably 18, 19 foot of water. Fish are showing there. It's not just like the occasional show, they are literally all over it and they're fizzing up as well. So that's the reason I've gone in with a bit of bait and not some zigs. But the left hand rod is right up in the margin and that one is fished a little bit different to usual. The same rigs as I've been using for a while now, the uh, slip D rig with the multi-link at the end. But this one is on a fluoro hook link. And yeah, I've just fished in that one with two grains of fake sweet corn. So yeah, my left hand rod is fished over a nice spot mix, mixture of corns and grains. So that should be good for the edge. Basically, there's a lot of fish that cruise up across the marginal shelf on this lake. It sort of goes down in steps. Um, like I say, it's a really deep lake and it's used for irrigation. So the way that the shelf of the lake comes down, it comes down um, gradually down onto one ledge and then it flattens out. Then it goes down again onto the next ledge and flattens out. And then there's like a deep trough in the middle. So my right hand rod, essentially is in that middle trough in quite soft ground. I think there's a bit of underlying weed because when I felt the lead down, it was a little bit soft. But yeah, my left hand rod is up on a nice hard spot up on that marginal shelf. So hopefully we've got a chance. And if we get anything, then I'll show you guys. Here we go guys, it's our first carp. It took the whole day to get this one. Um, unfortunately, it's been a bit of a hard day. I tried to catch them off the top and end up losing one. And yeah, moved back down to the same peg that we started on. And yeah, managed to get this one within about half an hour of being here. So yeah, bite time is now upon us. So I'm gonna slip this one back and try and get the rod back out. And hopefully we've got a chance of another one. Amazing. Well there we go guys, that's our first fish of the session. It took us all day to get that one. Unfortunately it's been a bit of a slow day today. Um, we've moved around quite a bit. So we started out in this peg earlier on today and nothing really happened. Um, had a little walk around and the other side of the lake we pretty much see most of the stock of fish up on the surface. So had a bit of a move down there, um, played around with some surface fishing and actually had a take but um, that one came off after about 20 seconds of it being on. Um, just wasn't a very good hook hold, I don't think. Unfortunately, we lost that one. So yeah, we ended up sticking around for a while, fished zigs, tried to fish on the bottom. Um, yeah, not really a lot happening. And after a while, the, the fish started to sort of disperse anyway. Um, so I decided to have a bit of a move and we've actually come back to the same peg as we started in. And the spots that I'd already put bait on, so I managed to get a rod back out underneath the tree on the right hand side and that's the one that's actually produced the fish. So um, yeah, really, really happy with that. Fell to the same rig as I usually use. The, it's like a slip D multi rig, um, like a soft coated braid, little slip D section at the end there. Quite an aggressive hook pattern. Yeah, not really much more I need to say about that. It's about six inches long. If anything my missus tells me is true, a six incher is sometimes all you need. 
and that's the one that did the business for us. Little six inch rig there, perfectly supple rig, nice little strip back section for the slip D and that's it, that's all you need. So yeah, slip that fish back and yeah, got the rod back out on that spot. Hopefully we've got a chance for another fish. Um, sun's starting to set now, going down just behind me there. Got a few more hours of light. Don't want to stay around too long tonight. We're going to head off just before dark. Yeah, it's been really good fun. So the basic essentials I've got in the bucket with me today, some PVA mesh. This one is in 35 mil. Yeah, nice little tube of it there. So these are the boilies that have been doing the business for me. That's the crustacean and black pepper boilies from Capilan. This is in the extreme 900 range in 14 mil. Matching liquids, little wafter. That's usually my favorite hook bait to go to. But today I caught on this one. So this is the glugged bottom baits and I fished it as a snowman using one of the little matching pop-ups. A little fluoro pink one on top. That was absolutely perfect. It's like a 16 or 18 mil bottom bait and a little 12 mil just on top. Don't go anywhere without these ones. That's a little fluoro range from DNA Baits and these are the PB pop-ups in 12 mil. These ones are beautiful. And then just in the bottom of the bucket, good old mixture of pellets. So these are just eight mil pellets and a good helping of Himalayan rock salt. And that just creates a really nice slick in the water. And yeah, just a really good combination together. There we go, there's another one on. It's the same rod that's gone. And it's the one that's got the snowman on again. Just down underneath that bush. Looks like a little bit of a better one. I haven't got much room to play it here. really go on this day. Oh, I feel it pinging off things. Things are punches. There we go, it's fish number two. Fell to the same rigs and baits, just down in that right hand margin. There was a snowman presentation with a little crustacean and black pepper boilie and a little pop up on top. And yeah, absolutely mint condition mirror. It's got a little sore in its mouth from the, the hook point, but I'm just gonna pop um, a bit of carp care on that. It's looking fantastic actually. Looks like it's got some old wounds, but yeah, other than that, it's in fighting shape. Absolutely beat me up. Really, really good fight actually. Took me right down into that margin and then out into the water a little bit. But yeah, absolutely mint. I'm gonna slip this one back. I wasn't expecting to get it anyway, so slip this one back and then be on the road. What a brilliant way to finish the video. Well, there we go, guys. 
that's the last fish of the session, making it number two. So yeah, really good session actually. I wasn't really expecting to catch that one, just the one from earlier on. It wasn't really feeling like another bite. A new bike time was still here. Someone else across the lake had a run just now. So yeah, they must be all switching on to feed. Unfortunately, that's it from me. Uh, I'm gonna have to pack up and head home now. Rods are actually in already. So yeah, just packing up the last few bits and pieces and then I'm gonna be back on the road. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. And yeah, if you enjoyed this one, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for regular updates from me. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Well, there we go. We've just caught another one. A lovely little mirror this time. Well, what am I saying this time for? It's every single time. I've never ever caught a common from here. What am I saying this time? <laughs> Let me say that again, I can't even say it. <coughs> can't even do it with a straight face. So the basics are sensual. Oh,